question right here. All right, I think we're live here. Say hi. Hello, Corona refugees. They're not Corona refugees. <laughs> Just say that. Why can't you start with a positive note? Oh, sorry. Hello. Like, hello, friends and neighbors. Friends and neighbors. We're, Won't we're, you be my neighbor? No. <laughs> have you been drinking again? I have not. Not today. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's Sunday and it's the middle of the day. Okay. That would be weird. I have to work. I don't even know if we have anybody on here. We may be talking to ourselves for a while here. It's okay. <laughs> we do it. Oh, here we go. Can you see that? Yeah. Here, I'll scoot the, can we scoot this out of your way a little yeah. bit? Is that better? Yeah. All right, let me put my glasses on so I can see what everybody's saying about me. All right, John, Chad number two. Christine's here, right there. Hey, Christine. Let's see, Calby, good to see you. Hey, always good to see you. See the masky read. Let's see, scroll through there, Tim. There's Pete. Pete's there. Christine's there. Pete's there. Yeah. All right, hey, everybody. I'm here with Mrs. Jimmy Slash. This is my wife, of course. And uh, we're just going to catch up on some live streaming we we're supposed to do on Friday night. Yeah, it didn't work out that well. Let me bring this up so we can see where our hands are going. I like this one the best. You, we're not into that part of it yet. Oh. You just messed up the whole show. You, okay, tell us why this you like that. This will be a second. This is not. This is supposed to be introduced later. Oh, <laughs> I like this one because it's okay. light. We're supposed to wait till Eric gets here, and then we like get into the meat of. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you can see the blue butterfly. Yes, it's very important. It has a very nice smooth lock. What's the lock called? Remember? Um, no. The axis lock. An axis lock. Now, the way they could have made this better is if this was glow in the dark. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be and cool. And then you would have seen the blue butterfly in the glow the in the shadow, dark. Yeah. Yeah. The shadow, yeah. Glow in the dark shadow. I got you. That's what they should have done. <laughs> they should have. And I would have paid more for that. No, I don't think you know how much that one cost. You wouldn't have paid more for that. <laughs> No, you. How much more would you pay for that? Oh, um, at least fifty dollars more oh, for the glow in the dark. You wouldn't have found that. That was already too expensive. Oh yes, it is too expensive. <laughs> it's a limited edition. Yeah, yeah, it's limited. And Annie Beck would have liked that. Oh yeah, she would have. She would have bought everything in the edition. No, I just like Benchmade <clears throat> because of it's easy for me to close and control. All right, let's see. Found toilet paper and eggs at the same store today. That's a good day. You should probably go online and do some, some sports betting. Tank count. There's no sports yeah. going on. You should find some betting. That's a good day. Toilet paper and eggs, same place. Is one of those offshore places? Yeah, a little offshore betting. Maybe they're doing some cricket fight somewhere. You know, uh, I don't know. Snail wrestling. I don't know how that goes. <laughs> There's got to be something going on that we can bet on. Uh, I'm sorry, Kelby. Your fiance got laid off. Yeah, he's in the service. Be a good one to dye pink. If I could think I could dye that pink without it messing it up, but I'm pretty sure I'd mess it up. But then you'd have to get the pink liners. Why don't we go if had pink liners and a pink butterfly? I don't know. I'm sticking with my glow in the dark. Glow in the dark's a good idea. All right. Texas Lotto is still probably going on. There you go. I'm the Texas guy. Texas guy, we'll get some get you a scratch off. I got some scratch offs the other day to help me with the, the virus blues. And then the was quarantine. A no -go. Yeah, this made me feel worse. <laughs> it scratched off some misery. <laughs> all right. Y'all seen all these knives. I just got these out here for looksies. But you know what? I was going through some knives here to this morning, not the other day, but this morning. This knife is awesome. If y'all like the big beefy knives, the CRKT Buku is a real beast. This one was given to me, but man, this thing is a monster. What do you think of that one? Too big? Mm. No, I kind of like how it like angles down a little bit. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it like angles 
yeah, the handle curve. Kind of comes I like around. that. It feels good in, in my hand. I just am particular about my locks. My uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I I don't like it because of that. You don't like the liner locks. Mm -mm. Yeah. Wait, yeah. somebody is about the campfire. What? In Tennessee by the campfire. Watching from Tennessee sitting by the campfire. Oh, Wait, that's is awesome. Is it cold? Is it nice and chilly out there? Hey, there's Eric. Hey, Eric, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Has a Bob Lum feel to it. Bob Lum. Not Mike Lum. Bob Lum. Maybe worse on us than it's not sick. Yeah, you got to be thankful for what you can be thankful for, for sure, Kelvin. That's, that's true. 70 degrees by the campfire. It's a little warm for a campfire, don't you see? It's never too warm. Try if to, s'mores are involved. It's s'mores wonderful. and six feet of buddies. Six feet away from you. Yeah. <laughs> However, that, that is, that's not like you're right. No. Six feet of buddies, like three really small friends that are two feet, two three-footers. One five footer and a footer. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just stick with the s'mores. You're being difficult. Why are you being difficult? <laughs> uh, hey, Carl B. Good to see you. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, DC McMurchy. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff to go through, and I got to figure it out here. I got a huge mess of stuff. First thing, if I owe you a giveaway box, if you've won recently, you're I'm behind on those. Our post office person is kind of being difficult about stuff. So. Oh, I didn't know. I'll, I'll go to, to the post office. I'll just run in. No, I don't want you doing that. There's so much corona living at the post office. It wants to jump out at you. There is a lot of corona. So anyways, you, I have it all boxed up. You can see here. I got like... Eight boxes worth, but I just got to get them out the next couple of days. She's not taking a bunch at a time right now. And then the other day, I didn't have the right scan form. And for some reason, this new person really loves the scan form, even though I sent out 1,500 boxes in the last three years and no scan form. Now, all of a sudden, she wants a scan form. I don't know why she has to stick to the rules now. Yeah, I don't understand that. It's a power trip, maybe. I think it's a, I don't want to do my job trip. Oh, okay. Anyways, mind jump to another video. I had to refresh. All good now. Is it anybody having problems with the the feed? I tried to make it a less less graphic intense feed so we could kind of stay up to date really quick on the chat. Do 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 do. All right, it's all good now. Okay, so. Yay, we're back. Try to see what we're doing here. And I had a lot of people send a lot of stuff in this week. And I got to figure it out. Oh, those are... Want to smell my cigar? No. You sure? No, I don't like cigars. Humidor. Ick. You know what? You don't have to be mean. Maybe. <laughs> Hello, Tojo. I'm glad that you made it alive. Hey, Tojo. Good to see you. Chris, Chris Walls. Doesn't want us to pick on the post office. We're not. It's just our Cypress post office. Oh, no. Them. I love, really. usually, <laughs> usually they, they're good, but this, I got a new person that doesn't want to be as helpful as the old person. All right, let me see here. What Chris, Chris is awesome. I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but Chris sent in a bunch of uh, piff money. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, he he uh, he helped. He donated. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go through and mention some names. I'm going to go first names on some PIF stuff. I'm going to have to do it from my phone since my computer's all tied up right now, and I don't know how to switch out. But I want to read some names. I don't read off the people that donate money for PIF as much as I should. So what I'm going to do is just Chris is one of them. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait. You can't, you can't read both names. I see what you're saying. Oh. You can say what you're saying. Okay. 
I'm just going to read first names and tell you thank you very much. Now, if you're here and I read your name and you know what I'm talking about, go ahead and say you're welcome if you want to. I, I, I want to recognize everybody that not just wants to be recognized. I want to recognize everybody that doesn't mind being recognized. There's a difference. You know, some people want like, hey, I sent in money. Mention me. And there are people like, well, that's fine. I don't mind. But that's the people I want to get in. So I just want to name some first names here just to say thank you. Chris, thank you a ton. Um, oh, Anthony, are you in here? Tony? Tony was just, he sent in, he sent in money and he sent in stuff. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Ben, thank you. Thank you, Ben. Ben, you're awesome. Michael, holy heck. I really want to say stuff about Michael. Michael, thank you so much. I want to show last names, but I don't want to embarrass people. Isaac, holy heck. I never, you know, just out of nowhere, he sent money. So Isaac and all these folks. AP, thank you. <laughs> Doc says he sent in three grand. And we didn't mention him once. Oh, yeah. We he's getting a special box. Oh, he is. Yeah. Okay. For sending in three grand. Yeah, he gets a special special thank you. <laughs> 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 that's that's the the VIP plus plan. All right, so I really really appreciate it. And I also need to go through Patreon. I can't get to Patreon on my phone that well, so I'm gonna get through the Patreon, folks. But here's the deal. I'm going to let you all know. I know I told you all I wasn't going to do any more waffles. But I'm thinking with all the stuff that law enforcement is going through right now, they're not going to be looking at my waffles. And I wanted to have some fun, give some people something to look forward to, and get some money for Piff. So we're going to have like a $2 entry fee waffle over on the Facebook page. Okay. And the folks on Patreon, I'm going to put... At least two. I'm going to put like two Patreon slots in there. So if you're on Patreon, I'm going to go through. I'm going to find the names for Patreon. Well, I'm going to put the Patreon slots in there. If they win, then I'm going to go through the Patreon people and randomly choose one of them since they're always doing stuff. Do you see what I'm okay. saying? Mm -hmm. I want to give the Patreon folks a little bit of something. Let's see. Line Nice says it's, his dad has the virus. I'm very sorry, Line Nice. We'll be praying for him. We'll definitely be praying for you. Praying for him, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's scary stuff for sure. Definitely be praying for you. A lot of people out there just affected by this. And, you know, if <clears throat> I know I say this at the end of all my live streams. If you're need somebody to talk to sometimes you feel isolated some, and especially if you're um, you know manly macho dude like me you don't know who to reach out to if you're feeling overwhelmed mm -hmm. so hit me up on Facebook hit me up on email whatever and if I understand about feeling overwhelmed and we could talk there's a lot of people on here that are even better to talk to and I'm pretty sure if you went over on Facebook and said hey does anybody got your ears on like old 70s CB show, they would definitely be helpful. Tons of helpful people on Facebook. That's really the reason that I got Facebook going. Is it so this conversation isn't one sided? And there are a lot of people there that are friends, a lot of people there that want to be helpful, especially right now. A lot of people that you can reach out to and just chat up. So don't forget that. <clears throat> Hey, Justin, good to see you in here. Yeah, sometimes it's kind of conflicting like that line. I know a bunch of people with that kind of story, but still, it's got to be kind of tough. Breaker, breaker. Always want to be a trucker. Always want to be a trucker. Want to be a trucker and an iron worker. But what were your handle have been? What my handle have been? I forget. You know, Granny Beck had a CV. <laughs> and we'd go back and forth from... <laughs> And I forget what my handle was. It was something to do with uh, football or something like that. I was big into football back then as a kid. But then you get on there and you're all like, you know, hey, anybody got your ears on? Then somebody's got their ears on and you freeze up. 
Yes. And you're like, hey, out there, anybody got your ears on? I'm heading down to San Antonio. Ears on. What's going on? You go, camera, camera frozen. And then they get mad at you. And they say ugly things about you to other truckers. Because you didn't answer them. Yeah. They just wanted somebody to talk to. Yeah. No. All right. So I don't know where we're going with that. Let's see here. How did we get over there? The CVs. Uh, oh, talking to somebody while in confinement. Oh, okay. There you go. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Debbie. That's a great knife. The, the bug outs, period, are great knives. It just needs to be glow in the dark. And, uh, but this one, this one's the best. I think this one's the best one. If y'all like that M4 bailout, I will go with that too. That's a good one too. I'm torn between the Immortal or the Spartan. Oh man, that's not even close for me. I would go with the Spartan. I'm not a huge fan of the Immortal. The Spartan is awesome. Do you have an example? I do not have an immortal. What about the spark? I do, but it's over there in the trunk of many knives. <laughs> hiding? It's not hiding. It's in hibernation. <laughs> hibernation. It's growing more powerful. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely go with uh, Spartan. I have a friend who got anxiety attacks and migraines because of all this. Yeah, a lot of people are going through it, Mike. For sure. Got the Kershaw Tumblr on Thursday. I don't know if I've had one of those. I don't like this knife at all. So I'm torn between the Immortal or the Spartan. We went over that. My dad was a trucker. He used to be on the CB all the time. That's cool, Paul. So you have CB knowledge. I used to love truckers. I don't know if I told you all this story. But when I was a kid... They were fixing to put in the baseball team for the town, you know, the Little League team. We were all excited. We were all like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I remember me and my friend were like, yeah, I think we're going to be the Vipers. And I was like, no, nah, we should be the Truckers. It was back in 78, 79, when Truckers were kind of a big deal. Jerry Reed was haunting the highways. But <laughs> anyways, we weren't the Vipers or the Truckers. We were named after the sponsor. It was like. The Amador Trading Post. <laughs> we didn't have a team that just yellow and white Amador Trading Post. And that was it. We are named after the gas station. <laughs> One of my life's big disappointments. Plus, I was terrible at baseball. I was actually, I was too young for the team. And they threw me in, I think, one game. I don't know where I'm going with these stories. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at you, talking the to trucker. you. The <laughs> trucker. Thing you love the truckers. <laughs> And it was all because of that song, you know, let them truckers roll 10-4, yeah, you know, that, that song. Oh, yeah, Convoy? Convoy, yes. Was yeah. all because of the Convoy song. Okay. This is a horrible knife. That is not a horrible knife. That's it a great a knife. knife. Why? Because it drags as it's coming out. Right there. It's got a little bit of a drag. drag. That's because of the right triad lock. I don't care what kind of lock it has. It's not smooth. It's, it's a drag right there. It's because, well, first. Right there. It, right there. Okay, let me have the knife. <laughs> I'm not going to reach with it when you're scissoring it there. This one is smooth. Very smooth. Like silk. This knife like is fun. Butter. Watch your hands. See? Manly thumbs. That's all you need. I don't like it. It drags. Well, I can understand that, but this is a great Who knife. Who made that knife? Cold steel. Okay. Try it lot. Cold steel. I think Mr. Holiday would back me up on this one. I don't think so. He doesn't like the access lock. So Nanny Boo Boo on you. <laughs> I've tried to give him access lock knives, and he refuses them. This is very smooth. Very nice. Yeah, it's awesome. Silk. But you're going straight Rain Man on this knife. That's this all you're one talking about. Is <laughs> like Oak and Burnett. Uh. Oak and Burnett's where I got that knife. Oak and Burnett. This drags. No, so this one has a nice thwack. Yeah, a nice it does. loud. Thwack. That is very smooth. And it's smooth. Yeah. Right. So if you're wanting a bigger manly knife, this one's good. But that's not the point of that the other knife. That's called this the air one. light. It's not the big light, the big one. These are like macho, really it, hard work knife. This will do some light. Hard. 
It is. But I don't like it. <laughs> because of the drag. No, I understand. Yeah. That's why. How much is this knife? That's why I didn't like that uh, Patrick Swayze movie with John Leguizamo. <laughs> what movie was that? <laughs> uh, um, where they're dressed up as women. Oh, as Tu Wong Fu. Yeah. I didn't like Priscilla, it be, Queen of the Desert, Tu Wong Fu. Or I didn't something like, like it that. because of the drag. Josh. <laughs> you can't use That's... my secret identity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying yeah, there, 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 oh, there's an anti <laughs> It's designed to be draggy because it's not for people who are not heavily into knives. Oh. Yeah, that's true. This knife is a great knife. That's why you like the the Griptilian, the mini grip too. Um, well, <clears> this. <throat> how much is this knife? Eighty, about eighty bucks. I know this one's a lot more. Oh, a lot more, yeah. Yeah, you can almost buy three of those. How much ones. is this one? About 120. I think I would save my extra pennies. Well, it just depends on what you want. I mean, if you're going into it. Okay, show me another knife that's light, that is smooth, that's not as expensive. Not as expensive? As this one. Here's this one. This one's about, I mean, you can get it right now for a good deal, but usually they're about 160. <clears throat> That's not too bad. I like that. Yeah. This is what? How much? 160. But you can get them at Woot. Right now, guys, at Woot, this is like 110, 115. That's a crazy deal. 20 CV on that thing. But yeah. I like that look. I got a lot thumb. of questions after my video about where it's at. It's at Woot. This, this thumb thing? Yeah. It's actually a bigger one. I took my thumbs plate off my Spartan. Oh. Well, just I like it. Because my thumbs are kind of chunky. And it has a nice finger hold right there. Yeah, that's the one I went after the raccoons with. I really? smashed the mess out of that knife, yeah. When I was putting that hole in the wall over there. I'm I'm glad they escaped. Well, I didn't go after him with a knife like I was going after him. I wasn't up there with greasy fingers and a loincloth trying to trying to stab me a raccoon. I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to get them out of there. Hey Alan, good to see you. Yeah, it's a zombie killing knife for sure. We have some zombie killers. Hmm? Oh, well, you had the bat that you used the other day. Oh, yeah. For zombie killing. Yeah. The Liverpool Assassin. The Code 4 is a great in-between knife. Yeah, the Code 4 is really awesome. This one has a nice snap, but see, it's crunchy there. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. At the, be, right there. At the, yeah. Be careful because that'll drop. Oh, crunchy, 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 crunchy. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of crunchy there. It shouldn't be. Something should be smoother there. Well, you can oil That's it, take nice, it apart and oil it. So. A nice click. The bug out is better than the air light. Oh, Eric's on your side now. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "This, you're right. He said, this is better than that. He doesn't. He, he's overriding his hatred of the axis to say that. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I know what you're getting for Admin Appreciation Day. <laughs> when is that? I can't tell you. Oh. Everybody would know. I thought it was a national day. No, no. It's just for him. Oh. Trust <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the caveman hunter. <laughs> love everything about the storm cloud but that. But I missed what, what you didn't love. About that and what? What is it? Is it the smooth carbon fiber there? Have you seen the black code four? This it seems like a have Ethan. That's a cool idea too. I this like would an be idea. so much better if it had like textured scale like this. Yeah, you're exactly right, and that's that's what I said in my review video that. Oh, uh, let's just get my favorite out there since we're talking. You know what? You like this knife. This is a little, a little, brother little Ganzo I found. Yeah, it is exactly. Very good. You're right. Yes, this Ganzo is good. It reminds me of this, this Benchmade. And I like the blue rivets and thumbs. What do you think of that lot? The deadbolt. 
that's a pretty cool knife. Don't pay attention to the the wrap up on it. But Ew, that's really nice and smooth. Yeah. And I like the button release. Yeah. I do like that. It's super strong lock too. I like that. Super a lot. strong. Cold steel is king rusty. You are totally correct. Did Does you anyone do the have wrap a top XSS skull crutcher? I do not, Joe. I think I held one though at Smoky Mountain. All those tops are awesome. Did yeah, I did. I re way? No, I rewrapped it. It came with the tan wrap. Oh. So I went patriotic. Yeah, I don't think I'd like a tan wrap on it. I don't like the idea of the wrap at all on a work knife like that. Yeah, because it's going to get dirty. Yeah, how are you going to clean blood out of cloth? Yeah. That's just kind of difficult. You stab it into because the brisket and it's going <clears> to <throat> splash on there. The yeah. Icky. Yeah, brisket or hobo. No, we don't kill hobos. <laughs> but if this thing was solid like this, this knife would be awesome. Somebody tell CRKT to make that knife. That's awesome. Okay, let's see. But I do like the... Oh, the thumb disc. You don't like the thumb disc. Is it the small thumb disc or thumb disc in general? You don't like the idea of being able to yank that out of your pocket in the, the fighting position? I didn't like the small thumb disc. That's why I switched it out. What, this? How do you search for knives on Woo? Just go, yeah. Go to the outdoors, outdoors section. Oh, wait. Eric told you. Sports and outdoors. I got to keep up here. I'm way behind. I want a knife with a triad lock. Only one and don't want to break the bank. Which Colts do should get? No 8 CR 13. <clears throat> get um, get the Austin A. I mean, do you want a big, humongous knife? Or do you want something that's fairly reasonable size? If you're going to spend like 100 bucks, get the Lawman. You can't go bad. Yeah, Prolite. What is the Prolite? Like 4116 steel? Is that what it is? I like the Golden Eye. Raul, I really like the golden eye. It was like a different kind of blade shape on the American Lawman. But yeah, I liked it. Yeah, go American Lawman fit. That's definitely a good way to go. Forty one sixteen. If yeah, Pro Light is a nice, inexpensive way to get into the cold steel. That's not HCR thirteen, it's forty one sixteen. Kind of the same range of of budget steels, but it's still a good knife. Yeah, Nerve is right. American Lama is nearly perfect for a user. EDC, light. <clears throat> the well, con. The con's good. What is the steel on the con? That's a good little EDC bull knife, too. Tough light. That's a good one, too. You didn't miss anything, Cesar. We're just being goofuses here. So this is a budget knife? Yeah, that's like a $23 knife. Really? Yeah. That's a great knife for being 23 bucks. Oh, yeah. Especially when I don't have 600 to spend on it this. It's not 600 Are you sure? I'm sure. How much was it then, Josh? You know what? I'm not going to be confronted. You will not confront me in front of my friends. Your friends know how much. <laughs> but I think in these difficult financial times, we should just be looking at budget knives. I haven't bought anything since lockdown started. I'm not talking about all I bought was what you bought. I'm talking about like we should be viewing more budget knives than we oh, do I see what you're these fancy ones. That's not a fancy. You use that to cut up in a box today. I know, and it was great. Yeah, it was very sharp. So it's not like a fancy fancy. It's not like the whole drawer over there of fanciness. Yeah, you have a <clears throat> <of> fancy. <laughs> And this one. <laughs> They're trying to get me in trouble. A heavy beast. <laughs> Who's trying to get you? Yeah, Eric, he said five ninety seven, and Christine said five ninety nine. They know it's not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we are a bunch of cold steel. Well, I'm a cold steel fanboy. There's some people in here who can't don't care for cold steel roll, but I'm definitely a fanboy. This is so heavy. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a beast. I really like that purple anodizing you did on it. That's about all you can get on the cold on the Four maxes is purple on those. Maybe a little bit of blue. You can't get too high on that. I used to carry the 560 all the time, not 80 tens replace. Oh yeah, Alan. Yeah. The 560 kind of has that kind of same attitude, but the 8010 is such a better knife. This is Senorita Slash Cesar. <clears throat> Cold steel fan men. Fan men. <laughs> <laughs> 
Merman. <laughs> <laughs> See now they're trying to get this says who give me eight hundred for it, that's less than retail. That's not true at all. <laughs> do you think they'll do Blade Show? I don't see any way they're gonna do yeah. Raul. I'm hoping beyond hope, but I don't think it happens. My code for an XHP is my go to for cold steel. That's a good one. Yeah, I have a couple of XHP uh code fours around here somewhere. Benchmade's nine forty. Nine forties are a little bit Skinny for my hand. Nakamura is awesome for a small knife. Nakamura is an awesome knife. Manix 2 is a good knife. Maximet, that's good steel. Did you order another knife? Well, you know, when she <coughs> asks, did you order another knife, you just kind of have to say, you know, don't lie. Just say, well, I was just wanting to reward myself for, and then name something that you've done awesome, like doing the dishes or something like that. Yeah. Cleaning the bathroom. There you go. And then you can say, just like I was going to reward you by getting another purse or another pair of shoes. Or another knife. I guess. That, you, you often know. reward me by getting a knife. <laughs> Show me some more budget knives. How many towers do I have? I have two, I think. I have no, I have four. I have two black ones, I think, with this one serrated, the four inches, and then I have a blue four incher and the big blue five incher, five and a half incher. Love the CRKT Buku, yeah. Okay, so we. What's your idea this? of budget knife? I want something under hundred bucks. That's a really good knife. That, there, there you go. That I can. I don't like this one. This you one's said a crack. Really? You said the CR word. I didn't say. We the are big not word. at your nursing barracks, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's no good. This knife. is the cradle of learning. <laughs> okay, so this is a good budget knife. Can you show me some In more? In this scene, you're Colonel Slade, played by Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> This one, this one's like uh, 60 bucks. No, so I don't want to So she says, me. what do you need that for? Say, well, you have different outfits that you have to have a knife for in different jobs, just like different purses for different occasions, different shoes for different occasions. You don't wear heels when you're going to the beach kind of thing. That's right. There you go. Yeah. Right here, you're like ice cream social. I, no, I wouldn't say that that's an ice cream social. Maybe they don't know how to make ice cream. This is your ice cream social knife. Why is that socially ice cream This knife? is I'm going out camping knife. This is I'm going out, just got a donut on it. That means dessert. <laughs> this is a great knife. I don't think you have a donut on the end of your massive <laughs> knife. Don't. I'm against that. You're That's got to change. A thief of joy. It's good right to there. <laughs> and then that's no good. <laughs> I don't think we're okay. paying attention to anybody. Go back and show me the budget. If I buy knife. a knife, my wife says, what? Another knife? What do you need that for? That's what Alan says. Yeah, and that's why I said. Oh, okay. You need different shoes for different occasions, just like you need different knives for different occasions. Peter's wife is here. She understands about the shoes. See? Yeah. There you go. Have you ever used the code for full thread? Yes, I have. It's awesome. Just a rippy, rippy knife. I don't want to sell any of my towers. I, I had a bunch of them, and I sold a bunch of them a couple years ago. The Harns Warrior is an amazing budget beast. That's a good little budget knife. A, a budget beast type of knife. Four Max is everything knife, for sure. Yeah, men don't wear outfits. I'm not coordinating. I mean, just because just I have colorful shoelaces doesn't mean it's an outfit. Josh. That's not my name. I'm You're really messing sorry. up. <laughs> That's why Batman didn't have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce. And a girlfriend most of the time. Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> not Bruce. 
Wait, what's the uh, hobo stabbing knife? Was it this one? Hobo stabber. <laughs> this one was the hobo stabber. But this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice knife. I like that one. No, go back and show me another budget knife besides this one. Okay. Then you went under 100 bucks. This one, uh -huh. this Kubi here is awesome. This is one of my favorite Kubis. Check that out. That's like 30 bucks. Well, I like the blue and black scales. It's a nice texture. Let's see how it opens. Mm, there's a little drag opening. How do we close it? Oh, I hate liner locks. You just eliminated so many knives. You just want access locks? I don't. I want a button or a button. <laughs> that's just, that's okay, just that a is a good knife if you like to close it with this. I don't like to close my knives that way. It's just that you aren't used to it. Mm. That's a great knife. I'm not any good at flipping. Not unless you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> I use my words then. <laughs> <laughs> use your words. All right, this is a really good budget flipper, but it's a liner lock as well. That's a Ganzo there. Ganzo Firebird. You know, this looks a lot like the knife I didn't like. Where did the crappy knife go? It tay. Sorry. Wow. The bad knife. I don't... Ugh. So much drag there. I like this point. <laughs> did you just push my hand away? <laughs> did you just push my hand away? I didn't want you to get cut. Yeah, thank you. You saved me from... It's always about safety. <laughs> safety first. Oh, you're crazy. This? Sog is good, Joe. That's true. CRT TIE Fighter. Awesome. That's a good one. I don't wear my TIE Fighters. That's a good one. This one is good. Hey, Penny, good to see you. This one... Higher end MTEX. Yeah, there are is... some. We saw some $100 MTEX over there at Smoky Mountain. This one is... a. Just maybe a scotch heavier. Charles says thing. everything I learned from about knives. I learned from Jim. Says, can you stab a hobo? Does it cut brisket? <laughs> <laughs> yep, there it went, Carl. This is now the uh, this is Jimmy Slash show. I've been, I've been relegated to producer. <laughs> this I like the point on it. Right, the tanto. The tanto point, I like that a lot. Yeah. For stabbing and cutting. <laughs> You're like a dock worker. You're stabbing and cutting and cussing. You get the three. The three checks. But I cannot abide the drag on that. Yeah, yeah. This one is good. It's nice and smooth. It's about the same weight as this one. This one could be your dress-up knife. Like, you're going to get ready and watch church online. Oh, yeah. You're going to sit around with, like, a nice shirt on with some Bermuda shorts. That's right. Not, not why you wear a shirt, but just in case. Yeah. God is watching from the waist up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got you. I see where you're going with that. All right. Okay, so we got a bunch of people sending a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to keep these giveaways going through the virus. So what I did was I went over to Smoky Mountain and I bought every single one of these that they had. Wait. If y'all haven't, well, y'all can't now unless you go somewhere else. But if y'all haven't checked out the CRKT Ox, this thing is awesome. And they had such an amazing deal on this thing. You could have told me this thing was, all right, there we go. <laughs> you just took it out of my hand. I, I'm being your Vanna. <laughs> oh, okay, Vanna. <laughs> this, you do have prettier hands. Than they me. can see it better in my hand. That's true. No, they, they definitely swallowed up by my chunky fingers. I see what you're saying. <laughs> I wasn't meaning that. <laughs> okay, so the show formerly run by Jamie Smash. <laughs> That's what they said. Uh, you know who can abide? This dude. The dude abides. Do you know where that's from? I'm going to guess um, 
the dude was. Yeah, you just can't in think his about bathroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, m do a good job, Paul. They got a bit of a bad rap, but there's some really cool ones. I did church online at PJ's today. I didn't see anyone. No, nah, he didn't. That's awesome. <clears throat> I want to try one, but I'm scared. <laughs> Who wants to try one once? I don't know. <laughs> that is a smooth knife. Yeah. You know I how much like that knife costs? How much does this cost? Forty bucks. Really? Yeah. That's really nice for forty bucks. It, that's I lied. That knife cost nine dollars. This knife cost nine dollars? Yeah, that's why I bought all of them. No way. Yeah. That is as good a knife as I mean, as far as the feel of it. Yeah. As any of these others. For that much. For nine bucks. I bought them all. Wow. So we can keep going with the giveaways through at least through the end of May. That's nice. This is, you're going to enjoy this knife. That's a good blade, right? It's yeah. not just like, oh, I got a bunch of cheap knives. No, I was surprised. Yeah. I was really you surprised. were happy with 40. I was happy with 40, but yeah. um, I was thinking that, well, I can't judge really how much knives cost. But but, but for a layperson, you, yeah, you can I like feel the, how smooth it is and you can feel how it feels in your hand. I like the texture. Scales. It has a clip. Is the clip? Reversible. It looks crazy. No. Uh, Peter B says he has three oxes. Yeah, they're awesome, right? That's what this is. This is the CRKT ox. ox. AUX. A it's like, like the Tonight Show when Johnny Carson showed up. <laughs> yeah, especially if you don't mind that little liner lock. But it's real smooth. And I like the thumb stud there. Yeah. Wow, nine bucks. I'm really impressed. Yeah, they were on sale. I mean, they're usually. I think 20. Even at 20, that's yeah. a good price. <clears throat> Behind cool. every good man is a better woman. Hashtag former Jimmy Slash show. <laughs> They're being mean now. <laughs> They're not being mean. They're just saying you're doing mean. They'd rather have you talk. <laughs> well, I'm glad. It makes me feel good that we're mailing out this knife. Yeah. Yeah, we're not quite there yet to where I'm going to get into that collection we might do that we'll do it tonight for the newbers that we're fixing to do we'll do a newbers this will be the knife that newbers goes out today we're going to do a newbers giveaway and now all your loyal people are, are sad why because they're not new what are not new what's newbers new people no newbers it's a long story it's numbers without the m oh it's called newbers numbers <laughs> oh okay we're so, giving a giveaway yeah, we're going to do a Nubers giveaway here in a second. A Numbers giveaway. No, Nubers. Okay. You you know what? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm going to hire somebody to play my wife next time. <laughs> Today's, so, Today's, you know, you send your mom away because she tries to stab you <laughs> on you, accident and, and on purpose. And now you're having a video coup. Did you, I plan to give them to friends. Did you weigh it? No, I haven't reviewed this yet. Yeah, it comes with an awesome lanyard, like a lanyard pin back there. So it's definitely got lanyard. I'm not lying. This thing is really nice. Have you done, Um, you know, you need to, like, when you send these out, put a little piece of paper in the box that tells you which video you did on how to do lanyards. And because you always send out a length of lanyard. So that they can do their, oh, yeah. their own lanyard, but just remind them what video to go to to learn how to make your lanyard. Yeah, or they can just go and search lanyard under the Jimmy Slash channel. Well, I didn't know it was that easy. <laughs> I was trying to be helpful. You are helpful, except for the whole coup thing. You're awesome. <laughs> well, okay, so this definitely wins today, the $9 knife. And then this was how much? That's like twenty three, I think, right 23. now. Twenty three, and then the blue one. The Seriously, pink. folks, these are twenty three bucks over on Amazon. There's like three or four left. That's a great knife. It might just get you through the coronavirus doldrums. Doldrums, yeah, yeah, because you can't afford to buy this monster Formax. All right, Michelle. I don't know if Tony's in here. 
But Tony has then got sent in a bunch of money, sent in some knives, and I just wanted to show what he sent in. Oh, nice. Because they're really awesome. And then there's see. some other knives that I think I mingled with other knives that I, I forget who sent those in. So I'm going to show them, and I will say thank you when I find out who they are. All right, first. All right, here you go. Here you go. He sent in that knife. You like that one. That was awesome. That's another game, though? Yeah, Tony sent in. Tony M., thank you very much if you're in the room. Oh, it is smooth. And, of course, it has my favorite little button there. And I love the colors on the rivets. Yeah. The blue cool. is really pretty. It's smooth. I really like texture on my side. Yeah, Dave. Dave says, I love how the wife has all the knives on her side. You're like a greedy child. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to get it more out of the way so that he has room to display. It gets too jumbled. You're like the chunky kid at Halloween. He's all the candies on his side. <laughs> <laughs> and drag. I won that hand. <laughs> Put this one away and bring out the next one that, right. he, that Tony did. All right, do. Tony. That was very sent nice. That in. I really like that one. Who's smashing the fruit now? <laughs> yeah, it'll be her next time. <laughs> She's taking over. <laughs> uh, just learned the snake knot. That's I think I learned. I know the snake knot and a box knot, and that's it. Check this one out. You won't like this, but look at this. I think this is a clone of something awesome. And this clone is awesome in itself. I mean, a clone? Yeah. I thought clones were really awesome in itself. No, we don't sell clones on the channel. But we can give them away. We can give them away well, to people really we nice. trust, not to sell them as clones. Yeah, that's a great knife. I don't know what's a clone of. I think it's Shira Goroff, if I'm not mistaken. Super light. It feels almost like plastic. It's yeah, like Eric. I think that's what it is. Yep. Two Shiro's, yeah. Mm. I was right, a Shiro. Super light. <laughs> Penny said you like the seagulls in Nemo. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> I love the seagulls in Nemo. <laughs> You're winning at knife poker. Actually, I, I like, I'm like the seals. Off, 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 off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was nice of him to say. Oh, this That's is my pretty. favorite that he sent in. Check this out. Ooh. Somebody did some nice anodizing on that. Yeah. That's that nice. That's a great, great knife. That's S35. Yeah, that's a high-end steel. He sent that in to give away? Yeah. That was super nice of him. And he sent in money. I can't do the flip thing. You'll have to do that. Just a great knife. I'm tempted to steal this one. This is probably going to go into a waffle box over there on Facebook. So yeah. So check out Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, we're going to do some waffles. And what's going to be piffles? I'm not going to do any waffles. We're going to do some piffles over there. And get, have, it'll be like a little bit of fun, a little something to look forward to. And it'll also help keep the giveaways going and stuff like that. That's a nice lanyard phone. Yeah, Tony, just out of the blue. Sent this stuff and sent in some money. See, Pete know what it was. The CH3504. That's really nice. That's a great knife. Hey, we're playing Crash Up Derby with a nice knife. I wasn't. It was an accident. The table's getting too crowded. Here, put that one away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is a CH knife, Todd, for sure. It's the, uh, what? Pizza at Therapeutic Edge at 3504. Let me put that one away. All righty. All right. So he sent in all that. Thanks again, Tony. Now we got some other stuff that people sent in, and I've lost the box to it. So I'm just going to bring it out, and when I find the box, I will. And if you're in the room and this is your stuff, please just say something, and it won't hurt my feelings. That you said something or you spoke up or anything like that. I just, I, if you could see the horrible storm of knife storm over here. I'm not allowed in the inner sanctum. Yeah, she's on the outer rig. Look at this thing. This thing is really cool. This is a mantis knife. I've never seen this before. But check that out. It's like a really nice gentleman's carry kind of liner lock thing going on here. I don't know if I could do this without slicing my finger off. I can. 
Isn't there one called a hummingbird? Yeah, a little tiny knife called the hummingbird. It kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, it's kind of like that. The hummingbird's about that big, though. Yeah. I mean, all together. You with the blade open. <clears throat> all right, so you send in that knife. Yeah, it's really kind of fancy looking. It feels kind of fancy. It does, yeah, very Al Marish. Kind of that, yeah, that whole stabby looking Al Mar kind of feel to it. Elegant, yeah. elegant stabber kind of thing. This could fit in your your pocket, like a your breast pocket for like your dress shirts. Yeah, it's a dressy knife for sure. Because that's nice, smooth, and that's satiny there. Yeah. Once again, seriously, if you send in this knife, and if you watch this later, put in the comments. I would definitely say thank you in public again. <clears throat> All right. Put that down. Oh. No, you, you can leave it open. I just want to show these other knives. Mm. I don't know how long we're going here. We're kind of try dragging into some people's time. Yeah, we're getting close to okay. taking over their, their afternoon here. All right. He also sent in... That's not important. Well, this seems like more fun than going to, you know, <clears throat> to the movies or something like that. Oh, the charade. Look Can't at that. I haven't checked that out. Look how smooth that charade is. Dang, that's really nice. D2 titanium? You're not showing it on camera. Oh. <laughs> you pat my hand away. You thing drag things out of my hand. And now you're grabbing my wrist. I'm trying to make it a good show. They won't want to know. All you had to say was, hey, it's not a camera. It's, oh. You have to five-year-old snatch me out of the lion's den. Get over here. Okay. Get, over here. Okay. Get away from the cookies. Get over here. Nice uh, <laughs> textured scales. I like that. I like the pointy. Very and, stabby. And the <clears throat> serrated part. That's nice. Oh, if you like the Formax Scout, Brandon, and you can get a decent deal on the Formax, man, That's I hate to say good. this. It just depends on what you want to do, Brandon. I have a bunch of Formaxes because I love them, but I think if the Formax Scout came out right around the time the Formax came out, I'd have got a couple Formaxes and left it alone and then just stocked up on Scouts because that's really awesome knife. But it just kind of depends on what you want to do. If you got m budget money for a little bit higher end, kind of 300 buck knife, you can't go wrong with that. I don't think you're going to find anything that's going to scratch the itch in that zone like the Formax. But, man, it's, that Formax Scout is so close. <coughs> you like being manhandled. <laughs> oh, man. What's in these boxes? Oh, that's this is the Schrade box. This is a really cool knife. Let me see if I can stay on the camera here. This is unbelievably smooth and locked up. You don't think Schrade and think that's smooth, but that's pretty nice. D2. That's a great knife. That'll probably go in one of the piffles, too. All right. And then you guys know this knife. This is the steel wheel cut jack, I think. That had a wider lock. Like you're being stealth. Yeah, it's kind of a quiet lockup on that one. Huh? What is this? This is the cut jack, I think. Yeah. There you go, the cut jack. That's smooth. That's a smooth, awesome budget knife. That's a really popular budget knife right there. <clears throat> hey, JCB, good to see you. And Garrett. Garrett, all oh, sweet. Good to see you. I like the texture on that one, too. I like the texture on this one better. Yeah, it's a little bit of unusual texture. Oh, that is very nice and smooth. You could probably flip that one over. Um, I'm always afraid I'm going to fling it across the room when I flip. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't flip that one open. Because if, if it slides out of my hand... Or There's nobody over there. As long as you don't do a mom and fling it this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's weird. Oh, man. We gotta get over this virus stuff so she can come back and do some stuff. Yeah, it'll be fun to have her back. Justin's got a full rack of ribs on. You're awesome, Justin. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds really good. Where does he live? <laughs> exactly. Where does he live? I have a steel wheel screamer coming in soon. I love all the steel wheel stuff. 
They have such good stuff. That is a nice little knife. How much is it? So it's like 35. What is it? What is the cut, Jacks? About 35 in that area? 35, 40? That's good. Oh, so it yeah. goes in our budget knife. Oh, yeah, around. definitely. It's definitely this a budget. Does? Yeah, these are all budget knives. Right. I don't know about the Mantis. This is definitely straight a super budget. Something obscene J Carp. I've seen some of the something obscene stuff. I don't know exactly which one you're talking about, but I haven't seen too m I can't think of anything of theirs that was just in like. So, yeah, it, I'll check it out later though for sure. Oh, Justin lives in West Virginia. It's going to take us a little while. Although I've read that there's some flights where there's only one person on the whole flight. Yeah, we could have a whole seat for ribs on the, on the way back. Yeah. There you go. Take us about three hours to get out there. And we wouldn't have to share. Because nobody wants our corona rich. Right. Was, yeah, I like Not the idea. Not that he has corona, just that. Well, just that they would suspect, yeah. you know. We have to keep that six-foot distance. And we wouldn't be able to wear masks when our face we, is well, covered we do in barbecue is, is sauce. Lick our fingers a lot, and nobody's going to want our ribs. <laughs> just kind of like wipe our mouths on our sleeves. <laughs> All right, check out the Plague Doctor large. Yeah, I have a plague doctor. Where? What's a plague doctor? It's a knife by uh, this company here, Steel Wheel. Yeah, somebody gave me, a good buddy of mine gave me a plague doctor last year. Where is it? It's in a bag over there. Oh. It's in a knife hibernation until it's needed. Kind of like Captain America under the ice. For the plague? Oh. You know what? Or any zombies there that come go. home. I know John is going to be making some plague related stuff. It's going to be really cool looking. Really? Yeah. What kind of plague related stuff? I can't tell you. It's a secret. But when it comes out, I'm going to get one. Oh. Okay. I know a dude. It's always good to have a dude. Yeah, I know, right? I oh, I got a cigar dude. Hey, you guys. If y'all are into smoking cigars. It's very bad for you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Edward Coop, or whatever his name was. What was that? See Edward Coop. Remember? I don't remember. The dude with the big old pork chops used to be the Surgeon General's. If you saw his face, you'd know who he was. Can you don't go snappy. Anyhow. You've been taking you over the a, show just because you I... You have a... <laughs> I'm a nurse. That, I'm obligated. No, that's not true. Yes, it's in my contract. That's not true. You're going to go after the ding-dongs and Twinkie lovers, too? No. Yes. No, I you're will. not. If I had said, hey, I got to order Twinkies coming in, I have a Twinkie guy, you would not have got on me. You know what? The Twinkies are no good anymore now, any houses. <laughs> they closed the company and reopened it. So Okay, ho hos. Ding dongs. Same. Really? Okay, yeah. fine. Little Debbie's. No, I've never liked little. I've never been a. You never liked the Little fan. Debbie's oatmeal cream cookies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So don't start with me on That's this. That's pure lard. On this, yeah, I know. It's fat. Yeah. It's like those King Kong ding dongs we used to get down the street. You're just like your mouth is greasy. Yeah. But they're delicious. Remember the one that came into labor? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're totally losing track of the chat here. Sorry, guys. Yeah, JCB is the one. I didn't want to mention his name, but JCB is the one that gave me the plague doctor. Oh, okay. He also... Gave me another awesome knife. Knives I can never get rid of, kind of thing. Oh, John Scarborough is going to raise you some fresh vegetables. I'll do it. Is it from your garden? And what kind? Paul's got some barbecue beef going. Nice. The coins, Tojo, I'll have to call him tomorrow. <laughs> it's on my to do list for tomorrow. I don't think, you know, like I was saying, I don't think they're. Essential, so I'm not sure if they're going to be working on them. It was going to be a two month, six weeks to two month window, anyways, which puts us would have put us right about now. And so, probably at the earliest, I'm probably thinking the first of May on those. <laughs> yeah, under Reagan, the Surgeon General Charles knows what he's talking about. Charles, it if you have the brisket raw, it takes two seats because the seats are so narrow now on the plane, <laughs> and if it's chopped up, it's just one sheet after it's cooked. The scout is on my want list, but that's Mr. Folders I can give us new Karen here. Garrett, that's a beast. That's a great knife, especially if you're on a budget. I'm not going to tell you, my buddy sold me a scout 
maybe I bought a scout a couple <laughs> days ago. Got an awesome deal on it, but you can get some sweet deals on the scouts if you just keep your eye out. Tom loads a Twinkie while smoking a cigar. There you go. Well, Tom. He's doubling up on apocalyptic then fun. you're going to have to private message him your cigar guy. There's Yeah, if you guys want a cigar, dude, and it's actually a family member of a friend of the channel, he was totally helpful. I don't want to get into it too much right here, but he was really helpful, and it was awesome. The cigar dude. Um, I have one of his stickers here. Where'd his sticker go? Did I hide it? I don't know. Ooh, butter I'll lettuce. Just get with me over there. Is carrots and baby spinach. That he shipped me a wonderful. bunch of cigars. What do you have? John has butter lettuce, carrots, and baby spinach. Let's do it. I will eat all of those. I will trade him. I don't eat very many vegetables, but I will eat those. Yeah, that's crazy. He got all the good ones. Cigar slip joint. There's a Rough Rider. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember? The cigar guy. I'm trying to remember the cigar. Anyway, is the it's on Facebook. It's, his company's called El Guapo. And he has a, a cigar store, and he will ship to you. And if you talk to him, he's totally nice. He's actually in the in the Facebook group. And if you send me a Facebook message and you're, you're interested, I will uh, give you his information. Just a real nice person. Especially, I used to smoke some cigars about 10 years ago socially with my buddies. We'd hang out, and I kind of got into it, you know. And then I just totally forgot about everything I knew about cigars, and he was really helpful. So, I don't know, but he's awesome. There's a Rough Rider cigar slip joint. Yeah. You told me that. Others have yeah, cigars. Said, yeah, he said that. He reminded us. No, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, and I want a stogie. No, ew. You know what? You will not. You have you will... to take a shower after that. Hey, hey, hey. Nobody wants to hear that. Nobody likes to smell a That's cigar That's not true. Smoke. A lot of people like to smell. There wouldn't be any cigar smokers. Oh. It's not like it's, you know, cod liver oil. Hmm. Nobody likes that. That's true. Some people do like smoking. You know what? Put the knives down. Your attitude today, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> You're just being belligerent. No. I was invited. <laughs> you were. What are you doing going through the drawers? I'm looking at things that are in your drawers. This is the only time that I get to inspect them. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> Look at that little stabby thing I found in your drawer. Yeah, that's a Almar push dagger. Definitely not a budget knife. Oh, that was one of the collection ones, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I should probably put that back. Oh. <sighs> Hey, we met this guy. Yeah, we did. We met this guy and his twin daughters. Yeah. What's, uh, what's his name? He had like a three-level name, the DPX guy. Who's the DPX guy, folks? It was uh, Robert Lewis Stevenson, something like that. But it was like it's that. But it was like that. He's was, a journalist. Yeah, it's a, like an active journalist kind of guy. Like, what does this notch do? Open bottles? Well, because, yeah, they call it a bottle opener or wire stripper or whatever, but because of uh, there's a company called Emerson that has a patent on automatic, like, when you pull it out. Oh, it's a wave. Yeah. It's a, wow, you're smart. <gasps> you've never, I remembered. I listened. You've never been sexier than you are right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> All right, show's canceled. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the Almar, that mama slash mo mode. You almost locoed my Almar. <laughs> All right, what were we talking about before I, I got sidetracked? Know. Robert Van Pelton. Robert something Pelton. Yes, that's him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I met him at Blade Show. Two years running. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. 
really interesting guy. He is I was, in, I was in the middle of a thought. I was like Al Pacino and <laughs> Dick Tracy. I know it's hard when you have ADD. <laughs> I'm having a thought. It's gone. What's this one? Okay, let's it's get everything off the table before you open up the $500 custom knife factory Fargo. Oh, we're not looking at custom knives today. We're looking only at budget knives today. Okay, everything in that drawer over there is about... At least 200 ducks. Oh, I know where you have some budget knives. I know. I have some right here. Did you, I know you wanted to see more. I, thought, I do. I want to see some more. How many knives. more do you want? I want you to get rid of all the things on the table oh, you know what? that are over 100 bucks. So this one, even though I love it, has to go away. All right. That was This gone. one that, has yeah, that to was go away. going away. The you don't like that one. Very bad, ugly knife has to go this. away. You're very mean to there there. Everything else is under hundred bucks. What's in this box? Oh, this is the knife I was gonna give away oh. before the ox came out on the table and we decided to give that one away. Ooh. Yeah, it's called the poop That's knife. Very, what? <laughs> it's the it's the CRKT wrinkle. And when it first came out it was all brown. Oh, that would have been very bad. Yeah, it just looked like a baby yeah. we were floating in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever thought that color up was not. Yeah, I know what they're thinking. They should be kicked off. It the was design just obviously just poop knife. <laughs> they should be kicked off. But anyways, the they just released Ooh. these minis and. Snap on. Snap on's a tool company. I don't know if you know. Yeah. That. And they sell sell these. Whiskey can. So I bought a bunch of these to to give away. Ken. Onion. Oh. Yeah, he designed it. He probably did not approve the brown color. I don't know. I can't imagine that they would release anything without him knowing. But yeah. They're probably like, oh yeah, it'll come in brown, it'll come in white. Yeah. And he probably like, oh yeah, yeah, brown, white, okay. And then when you really look at it, everybody's like, oh yeah. That that junior vice president is now fired. Yeah, he doesn't work there anymore. Junior vice president of design. Yeah. Fired. He's taken out the trash for. Exactly He's now. been demoted to the mailroom or yep. something. I like that knife a lot. How much is that one? I think we paid 19 for that one. Really? Yeah. It feels really nice. Oh, Debbie said you took her favorite knife off. Which knife? She wants to still look at the butterfly. Oh, I love the butterfly. We're going to leave the butterfly here. It's just not going with our Corona theme. <laughs> Quarantine. Quarantine budget. Because. The Chinese Elmars. I haven't tried the Chinese Elmars, Joe. Mm. I've heard they're not that good though. That from somebody that was trying to sell me knives that I would have bought from, told me that they weren't that good. So yeah, <laughs> Miss Slash, total domination. That's not true. Okay, I'm not trying to dominate. I was invited. I haven't been invited in a long time. And now you know why. And... <laughs> You're very bossy. I like this. It just needs to glow in the dark. Yeah, we heard. Can I send it back to them and ask them to make it glow in the dark? No, you can't. So they wouldn't customize it for me? Not glow in the dark customizing? I don't think so. So. We're not that important. No, I know, but if, I thought if like we were you could a bigger ask channel, them you probably could. to do that. Yeah, if you had some stroke in the knife community, we probably could. I'm, I'm sure there are some knife channels that would be like, I need a glow in the dark version of this. And they'd be like, oh, okay. But not us. Well, I, I can't have her to ask. Yeah, I can. So I think I'll probably have to write them and tell them I that the only way to improve this knife is. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if they came out with the glow in the dark one? Yeah, they wouldn't even have to name it after me. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> as, as my royalties for coming up with the idea, I would expect one. You didn't invent glow in the dark. No, but I invented the design. No, you didn't. That's did. they're already their design. No, you're that just is changing their the color of the scales. The glow in the dark is my creation. <laughs> no, it's not. For design. <laughs> and I like the blue with the glow in the dark, but I think they also need to offer purple because purple is my favorite color. <laughs> you're gonna listen to this repeat back, and, and you're gonna realize that you sound crazy. Okay.
I'm just saying, if there was a bench made <laughs> design team member out there listening in the ether about this knife, they can feel free to take my idea as long as they send me one. Oh, Christine left. Sorry, Christine. You take care. Hey, take care, Pete. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. All right. We got pink and purple from Alan and purple knives rule from Charles. You have a purple knife, don't you? I do. And Christine and her husband gave it to me. But and I have, carry it your, to work the knife I gave secretly you. in my bag. But your other knife is purple. Oh, your yes. bench made, right? My bench made is purple. Yeah. But I don't carry that one to work. That's my church knife. All right. All right, I think we're running pretty long here. I'm just talking to you like we're talking. And I'm forgetting about the time. All right, we're going to do Nubers. Let me. Yeah, pink knives sell out really quick, Charles. They always become really hard to find. They are, because they don't make very many pink knives. No, if you look at the pink mini grip, you look at the pink micro recon, even the pink PM2 is pretty tough to find. I think they should reconsider. Hey, Chris, their, good to see you. Their marketing strategy. For that all knife companies well I, I think what it is is they're trying to they're not going to sell a bunch of them so they're going to sell what they like have a sprint run on them like a lot of them are associated with breast cancer like the pink mini grip is. oh yeah and the, the pink micro recon too i think yeah so they have these runs so that when they do sell they sell out i think purple is for all times oh is it mm, i think so but you forgot i did <laughs> That is me. That is me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get the secret Nuber here. All right. Oh, what are we giving away for this? The ox. It's one of those. The ox. That one up there. This one? No, the one that's already out with the thumb plate. This one? Yeah. Okay. So this one is what we're giving away for anybody who gets what? Closest to the number? Yeah. They're already starting to give the numbers. They uh, don't know between what number and what number. No. So you have to wait. 157 is a, is a joke. Oh. Because the, the it was the same number twice in a row once. At 157, the same guy won twice in a row with 157. So that doesn't seem fair. So everybody bet, goes 157 right off the bat. Oh. But we've changed it because we're having problems with Facebook. Debbie wants 21, but nobody knows... 22. Wait, wait. We don't even know what we're, what, between what number and what number. Hey, thanks for being here, Casey. Appreciate it. There's a KLC. Oh, KLC. KIC. You know what I'm talking about? K and the C together with something in between. Thank you for being here. What, what if we picked a number between 0 and 10? And Debbie and Chris have guessed in the we've, 20s. We've changed it to between 1 and 50. 1 and 50. Yeah. Okay. Guess and But it does look like Eric's around. One and fifty. So I might be doing this by myself, which is really frightening. What do, What does he do? He keeps track on his end because the numbers are fixing to start flying. So he might be. I might have to do this on my own. All right. So we've changed the situation to between one and fifty, just because for a while there on YouTube they were. They were. Uh, Blocking people from doing it too much, and so we had all these numbers going up. Uh, Beef Baron says that you don't get to start until Jimmy Slash just start. All right, we're not gonna wait for Eric. I think he left. Yeah, he's well. He's a busy guy. He can't wait around for an hour and a half. Yeah, I don't blame him. He's got a lot of oh, notes to make. Got a lot of notes that the live stream actually shut down for a second there. Uh-oh. All right. Here we go. Let me wait till you see me hit start, and then we will go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's what I need Eric for. <laughs> He's a good backup. What's the number? I can't tell you now. Oh. 
All right, we got it. I saw it. Hold on. Spirit Blade. Spirit Blade. You won. 16 is the number. Yay! Sweet 16. You're going to enjoy this knife. And All right, Spirit Blade 1. This 16. is the only time that it's been Let me make sure flipped, here. so you don't have to worry about it being overused. Here. We're going to go slowly. And Tell me when the first else? time you said 16. He was counting up. I was watching it. Well, I just want to make sure he was the one. Let's see, 15, 17, 16, right there, yeah. All right, Spirit Blade, you win, 16. Send me your address, jimmy slash YouTube at yahoo.com. Congratulations. Let me write that out for you. This is such a nice knife. Yeah, it's a good night. So you, this is the giveaway, the virus giveaway for today. It's going to be a Nubers giveaway. Thank you all for being here. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for being here, seriously. I had a lot of I fun with fun. you. I had fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> You're crazy. All right. Wash Thank your you. hands. Don't touch your face. Stay off the grass. Wash your hands. <laughs> wipe your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all be good. And get in contact with me on Facebook or email me if you need to talk about anything. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.